Well, you might have heard of the keto diet or the paleo diet, but have you ever heard of the insect diet? KSNT News reporter Kelly Saberi takes us to K-State, where students tried it out for themselves. It's called entomophagy. <laughs> Yeah. Use of insects as food. K State professor Gregory Zollnerwich studies entomology, and today some of his freshman seminar class got a taste of some of the menu of mealworms. He bought 500 mealworms for class today. These are actually beetle larvae. He washed them and withheld food from them for a few hours before cooking for his students in class today. The class topped the mealworms with guacamole and coated them with garlic and Parmesan cheese and some in cinnamon sugar. But it's not just for the sake of trying something strong. Strange. Students think it's a real novelty, but really it's raising their awareness of several things in that the world population is growing at a tremendous rate and places like K-State and other universities and, or government agencies have to figure out how to feed this growing population. Crickets actually contain twice as much protein as beef per gram. And insects are a very good source of fairly cheap protein. Solner, which says raising insects as a protein is also more environmentally conscious than raising cattle. Dr. Z actually says eating worms is better for those on the popular keto diet rather than eating other common forms of protein. And no, I did not try any of it, but his students were braver than me. Kind of squishy, kind of nutty. I mean, it didn't really have that much flavor. I just kind of bit it a couple times and swallowed it. In Manhattan, Kelly Saberi, Fox 43 News. And they were more brave than I was as well because they brought them back and I did not even get anywhere close to those either. Well,